Oh, wait. We don't really need to go through the fog gate there. We can choose to take this route instead. Okay, he throws dagger. Oh, hello. So, about not being backstabbed. Hello my beautiful frogs and welcome back to more Dark Souls for the PC. Last episode we went into Dark Root uh, Basin again. And we found a um, bonfire. And we found a way back to Valley of the Drake. Or uh, another way into Valley of the Drakes. And we also found a way that connected the uh, Dark Root Basin with... Uh, with uh, Darkwood Garden, and I know we're exactly where we are. Uh, this is gonna lead up to the door that I want to open, I think. Yes, it is. That ex is exactly where it leads. Basically meaning... We should probably go there and save. Now that we have unlocked it. Because we can easily get there. Okay, good, he disappeared. So, once again, we're back here for like the millionth time. Gee, I wonder when the last time we were here was. It's not like it was uh, the last episode or anything, no, no. Actually, I don't think we ever were here the last episode. Uh, actually, I don't remember, to be honest. Not that it really matters. Yeah, sure, attack me from behind, that's alright. I can just use an Astus Flak easily to heal up. Normally, I sh you know, would have waited on the enemies. But, it doesn't feel like it. Or, rather, I don't feel like it. Down he goes. Was there something over here? Nope. But yeah, we've been able to see this area from above. Where there's a fire here. I think there was another demon here. If mem Oh wow, didn't see you there. I wonder if this road also leads to the... Uh, uh, Blight Town. Considering that they're starting to poison me. Safe to assume that uh, this indeed leads to Blight Town. Also, I can clearly see that we can go through there, so. Okay. Maybe I need to change my equipment then. Talisman. Hmm. But let's equip the Gargoyle's Tail Axe. Are you kidding me? I can clearly see that we should be able to go through here. Yet it doesn't let me through. Also, we should prob probably um, unequip this right away. Okay, so that's where the fire is. We can go down there or we can go this way. Can I open this door? No, but I can apparently kill an enemy through the wall? What? How does that make any sense? Okay, same thing there. So there are enemies behind the doors, but... But we can't open them. Okay, so we have some kind of assassin-like enemy. That room is empty. This room has a mail breaker, which is a type of dagger. Very good for backstabbing, I think. Uh, it's a mail breaker I have in Demon Souls with my thief. That's clearly not a door. That doesn't look to be a door either. Okay, that's another dog enemy. Whoa, hello! 
And we have more of these assassin-like enemies. They can probably backstab me, to be honest. But yeah, the reason why I reacted a little bit with that whoa is because it actually scared me. Did not expect the door to open. Okay, we have thief mask, black leather armor, and uh, well, basically a lot of thief equipment. And that's the dog. That's about to kill me, and I didn't mean to throw a uh, firebomb there. Okay, all that has fallen down, but a large soul of the undead. A fog gate probably means a boss is at hand, or possibly a new area. Either way, we're gonna go up and check what's over there. To our left. Since we have not been here before. Somebody. Please let me somebody help me. Unlock the door. Damn. How did this Okay, let's open it. Hello there. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Greeks of Vinheim. The sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. You're welcome. I'm just glad you didn't stand here, because if you did, I would have killed you. Hello, I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm fine. Okay, I'll see you at Firelink Shrine then. Mr. Mage guy that got stuck. Nothing there. Oh wow, we have a lot of torch wielding enemies. Are you gonna go and attack me now? Okay, good. At least one had a decency to try and attack. Okay, they were just waiting to gang up on me. Alright. Makes sense. Gonna heal up just to be on the safe side. Silly enemy. Thinking he'd survive. Okay, so going this way is only for two things. Saving the mage guy and acquiring this item. The twin humanities. Nothing there. I illusory wall ahead. Okay. But I can't break it down, so... Guess it's not so much of an illusion then. Or does it make another sound? No, it makes a cling sound still. Okay. So I don't know what that was supposed to be good for. But, uh, well, we got the item nonetheless. And that was really the important thing. So we're gonna check this fog gate over here. And hopefully it's not a boss. If it is a boss, then I'm partly screwed. I think. And if it's uh, not a boss, then great. So either a boss or a way to get to the... Oh, wait. We don't really need to go through the fog gate there. We can choose to take this route instead. Okay, he throws dagger. Oh, hello. So, about not being backstabbed. Didn't go so well. Good thing it was not a one-hit KO type of move, because if it were, I would have been dead. Okay, we have an archer somewhere around here. There he is. And now it's dead. See, I kind of need that we have new areas to explore here. Uh, this leads nowhere, okay. Okay. 
Oh, I know where this leads. Hello there. Yep. Reduces bleeding buildup, reduces poison, poison and toxin, restore status. Poison throwing knife, nice. Dung pie. Turns enemy toxic but also affect players. Oh, alluring skulls, we can buy those. Car called pine resin. Applies fire to right hand weapon. Temporary curse allows engagement with ghosts. We can buy one of those. Rotten pine resin. Homeward bones, prison zone, path marker, drop and list and check heights. You can also buy humanity. Reduces curse build up. Let's buy five of those. And let's buy one of those. Okay, yeah, so this should take us to a locked door, which we should be able to open. And once we've opened that, we can freely get to uh, Firelink Shrine from here. There we go. The only thing we really have to worry about here is the rat that I'm looking at right now. But he doesn't seem to bother with me, so... There's that, I guess. And of course, I guess we have to worry about the these guys in a slight capacity. Not much, though. Unless they try and ambush you like that. In that case, you do have to worry about them. Okay, so we can get the uh, ghost uh, attacking thing there. Kinda of makes me wonder how to get there, but... Oh well. And that's the Mr. Mage guy. Hello there again. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back on skate. Yeah, sure. I almost died though, but you know. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. I think I've already gone hollow, to be honest. Oh, hello. To see okay, he's not gonna be a helpful by any means. So we're just gonna use this bonfire to heal up and uh, get ourselves ten more Estus flasks. Then we're gonna go back into the sewers and uh, we're gonna continue exploring that part of the Undead Burg. And from the Undead Burg. Actually, I don't want to do that. From the Undead Burg. We're, of course, gonna explore further from the staircase. As well as... Uh, as well as... The fog gate. Which I'm gonna assume holds a boss. Perching stone was 6,000 though. I like that we can buy humanity here, so now we can technically never run out of humanity. Buy another one of those. Buy five for now. Sure thing there. 
So yeah, back to Undead per uh, Berg. I was about to say Perg. Uh, yeah, it seems like there's nothing up there. Or nothing uh, that we can reach up there. Sure, the small annoying part is that we have to re-kill all the enemies, but that's easy compared to uh, what we would have been forced to otherwise. Okay, that's locked. We need some kind of key for it. Large soul of the undead, okay. Maybe that's just a shortcut from the fog gate. I think that might be the case. Okay, either he has weapons or poison coded. Or he attacks with daggers that, that are poisoned. Okay, that's the dog. I was about to say there should be a dog coming up. But, uh, looks like the dog tried to ambush me instead. Shortcut ahead. Okay, let's enter the fog gate. Capra demon, okay, so... There was a boss. Oh, we have dogs, okay. Let's escape first. Heal up, there we go. Um, okay, where am I exactly? Oh wow, he can't hit me from here, can he? Didn't mean to hit the Capra Demon there. I'm trying to get rid of the dogs. Okay, so he can still hit me there. The dogs, that is. Kind of funny this, because I'd never meant to find this blind spot. I'm gonna use this opportunity. Uh oh. There we go. Managed to get back up here safe and sound. Oh wow, we can also make it over here. Fair enough. Now we can't hit him again. Unless he do something like that. Yeah, you can try and get me from there. That's fine. Got five, 15 throwing knives. Slowly gonna wear you out, Capra Demon. Actually, that reminds me. Can I equip some kind of other firebomb? Well, I do have the black firebombs. Okay, got him. Key of the depth. So, uh, Capra Demon was the second demon that, uh, you know, were located uh, in uh, in Undead Berg. The game talked about him before, after all. But uh, the iron of it was that uh, he wasn't super difficult, thanks to that blind spot. I think, uh, you know, fighting this guy, maybe it's not too tough to fight regularly. But, uh, you know, I think the dogs are the difficult part about him, I think. Possibly. So, is this a dead end kind of area? Just key to depth, and that's it. Yeah, seems to be it, okay. Oh well, at least I beat the boss and that's the only important thing. The way you beat the boss is, that, you know, doesn't matter too much. Uh, the one thing that matters is that you actually beat the boss, I'd say. 
Okay, so that's the key of that. So this must be the way to Blytown then. The quote-unquote intended way. I think I can enter Blytown from behind though. At the Valley of Drakes. Okay, nope. This is a new area, the depth. So... It's an entirely new area instead. Large nameless soul, okay. Unless of course we've been here before, just at a different location. But it doesn't look like it to be fair. Not sure if that guy down there is an enemy or if he's a uh, NPC. Probably an enemy. Did this guy just damage me a little bit more than usual? Felt like it. Oh, I did hit him, okay. So, whoops, hello. I can drop down here. But the question is, can I get back up there if I do? That's kind of why I don't just want to drop down there. Until I know a way up. You know, like this one. This way here. I think he might be a mid-boss kind of enemy. Okay, yeah, he's definitely an enemy. He's attacking me. Straight out attacking me. Okay, it's a mid-boss enemy too, I think. Considering that he drained my entire stamina bar in one attack. With that heavy attack of his. A thousand souls. Doesn't necessarily have to be a mid-boss kind of enemy though. Large Ember. Okay. Not sure what that's supposed to be good for, but uh, I got it. And that's the meat he was cutting. Okay. Can't take damage from the fire at the very least. I probably don't want to fall down there. Just gonna throw that one out there. Okay, so you move very slowly in the water. That's good to know. Hope there's nothing in the actual water that drags me down in it. You know, some kind of ambush enemy. Like in Resident Evil. I know that, uh, you know, Dark Souls is nothing like Resident Evil. But, uh... I just hope that there is no enemy like that. Okay, so I could have shortcut my way down here, I think. Okay, we have another butcher guy here. Couldn't really get past him there. So I guess these guys are just regular enemies then. Okay, I've got another one now. Which means, uh, wow, a sack. I definitely want a sack on my head. How did you know, game? But yeah, you can jump down from here. I think. Yes, you can, actually, from up there. Okay, that lead downward somewhere. Where do we get if we continue onwards over here, is my question. It's kind of kind of fun though, you know. I, I I die a lot and all that, but I still always manage to a lot of progress. Yeah, yeah, over, over here. Please, you must help me. Oh, there you are. You must help me, or else she'll have me for lunch. Who? You're my own here. Oh, 
please. There you go. I think a lot of people probably make the mistake of attacking with a sword. Thank you. Thank you, dearly. But who's that she you were talking about? Okay, so learners of the Great Swamp. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Yes, you are. But uh, do you have any significant value to you, or? Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Okay, no, he does not. Fair enough. But at least I rescued him. So I got that going for me, which is nice. And we can now actually move on down here, see where we we'll end up. Bonfire would be nice. But down here we have water and some kind of blob. So that was clearly a trap. Strange creature ahead. You don't say, game. You don't say. One that seems to dissolve in the water and then give up on you. Large titan shard and large unknown soldier soul. Starting to run a bit low on M uh, Onestus flasks now. Yeah, that's just part of the scenery. Part of the scenery, part of the scenery. Maybe I need to lit this one fire or something, I don't know. I don't think I can even do that, to be honest. That leads nowhere. Oh, okay, I can see them in the air. I'm gonna deal with it the same way I dealt with the other one by attacking from a distance like this. Okay, so in this area. Oh wow, he seems to have split up into two smaller forms of the same enemy. Unless they two were in the in the roofs or ceiling, I mean. Waiting to come down and strike at me. Okay, at the very least I can attack both at the same time, which is very nice. Okay, oh wow, there's another one that I didn't see there, fair enough. But maybe these guys are not so difficult as long as they don't, uh, you know, hit your head from above. And you keep your distance from them so that they may not um, latch on to you. But it seems to be some kind of sea slug. Okay, I can't attack both though. Let's see. Okay, now I can. Good. Just gonna wait for the stamina to increase. And boom, there we go. Might possibly be with at least one more alive. Or maybe not. Okay, master key. Okay, that's a bonfire. I'm not sure what that sound was. Is that all what this is gonna be? A simple little bonfire? Not that I can complain though. It's good that I found a bonfire. Okay, that's all the worth this area has. But I have plenty of souls. So, we're gonna level up. Vitality or stamina would be good, I think. I can level up twice. So 
So maybe I should do this. Really increase my defense. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that actually. And we are gonna Kindle. We're gonna reverse following. Offer humanity in reverse following, yes. Humanity restored. No, humanity, what? Okay, I have no idea what I did, but uh, I think we're gonna use a uh, humanity then. Use item. Okay, so now we're in humanity. Uh, we're gonna kindle. Yes. Oh, okay, so what I basically did was I made myself human, okay. That makes sense. But uh, there we go. I shall end off the episode here. If you enjoyed this episode, consider becoming part of the Frog Squad by subscribing today if you aren't already. And if you want to help me and channel grow even further, you can do one of the following three. You can A, like this video, B, share your thoughts by leaving a comment down below, or C, share this video with someone you know. With that said, this has been Alp Grodo saying, thank you very much for watching, it's the Frogger one, and I hope to see you next time. See you then.